So I've been wanting to improve our internet coverage around the shop, not just in the shop, but outside the shop. So this is a company, I'd seen their ads a lot in magazines. So I sent an email off to AirMesh and I said, if I do an honest review of one of your products, would you mind sending me one? And I'll put up a video about it with my thoughts on it. So Bill over at AirMesh was kind enough to agree and send me one and let me post a video. I didn't tell him exactly what I was gonna do. I just wanted to get one and give it a fair review. So here it is. Okay, so I got the stuff out of the box from the Air Mesh Hub 2T. It's pretty simple. So there's the, the hub. That's what's doing the work. You got a antenna. There's a mounting clamp. So the antenna screws in here like that. Real quick. And notice it's got little o-rings on it. Each piece has o-ring to keep water and stuff out. So that's cool. So you put the antenna on the clamp like that. And then you thread the hub on the antenna after the antenna is in the clamp. So you get that together like that. And then the clamp you can either screw on to something or what I might do is you can put like a metal pole through there. Maybe I'll put maybe a two, three foot long pole on top of the tool shed. I'm going to put it up on the roof there. Maybe give it a little more height. And then you can either zip tie it, which they give you a couple zip ties. Or you can use these hose clamps, which that's probably what I'll do if I go that route. And inside you've got this little power cable plugs in the wall. And there's two Ethernet ports on the back. Two 10-foot Ethernet cables. I'll probably use one to plug it into the router. And then I'll need like a probably a 50-foot one because 25 won't be long enough to send it up to the roof. And you have instructions, of course. It looks like you have to make a little Airstone um, account. And log in there so the first time you power up the hub it can kind of get some info from air mesh and initialize itself so it really looks like a pretty simple thing i'm going to find out how it works one thing that's helped me a lot is wi-fi calling which i didn't used to have the phone i have now has wi-fi calling i could not get a phone call or make a phone call in the shop now with wi-fi calling it's no problem be great to extend that out to the barn lot and have a little better connections. And also for internet, just you know, checking markets or making social media posts or whatever. So I need to get that longer ethernet cable and do a little planning and we'll get that hub 2T hung up and then we'll see how good my signal is and how far away I can go. Let's check our range out before we do anything. So you can see I got full Wi-Fi. I'm standing right next to the router here in the shop. It's just the cheap router the phone company gives us. No big deal. Cord runs up there, out there. We got a wireless receiver to their tower, which is a few miles away. So now I've stepped just outside the shop. Still got full Wi-Fi. There. Backed up a little, kind of dropped a bar or whatever you want to call it there but I'm just outside the shop I'm probably 50 feet from the router now my signal's getting weak just over here across the drive I actually tapped out there for a second so I'm not all that far away from the shop I'm thinking of putting the thing right up there on the peak of the roof on the end of the shop there now I'm walking over here towards the bins where I'll spend a lot of time loading trucks and stuff my Wi-Fi has got the little X out on it there and I'm on the network and there's the shop again. Well, that's what we look like. I think it's pretty good. We got to, I was going to rig up some galvanized pipe or something, but we had an extra arm from an old satellite dish. So, and that was adjustable too, so that worked perfectly. We'll get down on the ground and
test this thing out. My only problem is the gland, they call it, that they give you. My ethernet cable is not centered and kind of the fitting on the end is too big. So I'll seal that up maybe with the water resistant tape they send for horizontal installation. So here I am at the dump back by the bins where I would lose signal from the regular shop Wi-Fi before. I'm on the air mesh. Got a full signal, if you can see it there. And I'm in the Ranger, because I got tired of walking earlier. So let's see how far this thing will go. Well, I'm at the edge of our property. If you can see the grain bins way down there. And maybe the barn is just a little bit between me and the antenna. The shed roof's a little higher than the barn, I guess, so probably not. So, still got almost a full signal there. Let's see how how fast it is. We don't have blazing internet to begin with, but it's running about 11 megabits per second at the shop, inside the shop, next to the router, and on top of the roof, sitting next to the air mesh. <laughs> it's going to be like a little faster. Uploads not ever great. 12 2. So I'm just as fast here. I'm over a quarter mile away. So this is the edge of our property to the east. Now I can go out to the north, and that's going to be maybe a little farther. Go check it out. So now I'm in the far east corner of the field across the road from the shop. I'm probably, I'm at least a half a mile out. I can check this on Google Maps later. And I'm coming in at right at 11 on the speed test. Still just as good as right there at the shop. So now I'm straight south of the shop. I don't know if you can still see the shed down there. I got better signal now, but I was starting to lose it. I lost it a couple times. I'm probably three quarters, eh, almost three quarters of a mile out because we're on 1100 and the road to the south is 1000 a mile away. If I get behind those trees in our little lean to shed at the end of the lane, I was losing it back here, but if I move out of the way, I pick it back up. But this is, this is more than adequate for what I wanted to get out of this. So let's see how far I went. There's the hub right there. We'll measure to the dump where I was losing signal with our original setup. 165 feet. So let's see where I went with the Ranger. I went first here. It's about 1900 feet. Had good signal. Then I went here. So 3400 feet or so. And then when I went down the lane, I didn't get quite that far. I was losing it down around here, just past the lane here. So, 3,000 feet. All those are quite a bit better than 165 feet. So, I am pretty happy with that. So, that's great. That gives you a good representation of where I went on the Ranger versus just watching the video. So the Hub 2T is up there on the peak of the roof of the tool shed on this end, the north end. And I'm getting, you know, great range for what I wanted to do. Just expand our Wi-Fi around the barnyard. And it's pretty much covering most of the two big fields around the shop. Now I could have gone up there on the grain leg if I wanted to do a little more serious install. Then I would have been twice as high, about 70 feet high. 
and I'm sure we'd have even better range then. So they have another product where I could put something on the grain leg where it can probably connects wirelessly to that hub. Uh, they say you lose some speed doing that. I'd probably increase my range a, a ton, but which I really, I don't need. I'm happy with the way it worked out. But this was super easy to just run a cable from the router in the shop up onto the roof and plug it in. That's about all there was to it.